Fight IG-12 is in the house and he is looking just absolutely remarkable. I'm very, very, very happy and impressed with this figure. He looks fantastic. Yeah, I had to build the camera back a little bit. He's quite tall, um, which is cool. It's just awesome. Um, Accessory-wise, technically, Grogu, <laughs> extra figure, and technically the two Anzellans. I guess you can call them accessories. We'll get a look at them one by one. We'll get take so we can put them aside. Look at this little guy. So cool. Little bits of articulation. You know, I assume it's just a little ball, little ball and socket there in the arm. But I love that. No squeezy. Super cute. I love these little guys. A little, little bit of articulation in the head too. <laughs> They're just so, I love them. They're so cool. You can't really tell. I don't think the legs will move. No, they won't. So there's one of his little goatee. Got the little goggles. Oh, this guy's just a little bit taller than my thumbnail, which is just insane. <laughs> little belt straps there, really cool. Fantastic. Yeah, I love these little guys. Let's bring in the other one. We'll do a little side by side. This guy's got the uh, got the little mustache. He's got a little tall belt. Again, a bit of articulation in the in the arms there. A little bit of a pivot in. Oh, the little waist too. It's got a little articulated waist. Yes, this one does too. He's got these little gloves. Fantastic. These are so good. <laughs> I love these little guys. Little fiddly little things. There, they are great. Put them down. Let's take a look at Grogu. Now, buddy uh, Brian, Metal Jedi, he was sort of saying this is his favourite Grogu that they've done. Well, I didn't think it would be very different, but yeah, it definitely is. He's uh, they've given him a slightly sort of more upstanding stance. He's a little bit taller. Head sort of nestled in there nicely. Like the other ones are sort of it's sort of ranged in difference a little bit. Maybe he's been sculpted this way to be able to fit in the uh, in the belly of. RG12. Yeah, it definitely looks nice. Little ball and socket in the arm there. Got little swivels in the wrists. So he's got a little bit of articulation. Head. He's got the little hand so you can control the uh the little the little knobs of the of RG12. So we'll get him in there at some point in the review. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, he looks great. A little bit of fuzz on the top there. A little bit of hair. Yeah, it's a nice looking Grogu. I like him. Let's put him aside. Let's take a look at IG-12. So yeah, we'll just go from the top down and just take a look at the paint. So yeah, this is all new. Um, I've got the, uh, the IG-11 next to me here. We'll take a look at the two... Towards the end of the review, but yeah, they've uh, completely gone to town and and redid this guy from the ground up, and I'm super glad they have. He needed it, absolutely needed it, and uh, yeah, hopefully this means that you know with a slight, slightly different torso, they can give us a a fresh IG11 at some point. Like I said, IG88 as well. I'm glad they uh, ridded the little rubber, the rubber elbows that the old one had. They just sort of broke down and went to dust same with the the bits in the knees appreciate the thought like it was cool but yeah they just the rubber they used just did not stand the test of time so yeah lots of great detail on this guy it's going to take me a little while to uh fully work this one out but uh yeah we're gonna have some fun with this guy that's for sure feels solid doesn't feel flimsy at all. Nice and sturdy. 
paint's nice and clean on it, which is great. So we've got the little little guts that can fold out, fold out, and the little joysticks in the front there. They can uh, a little ball and socket, so you can move them around and have them fit the hands perfectly. And I love that it's sort of open like that, so you can just sort of stand him in there, close it up, away you go. There's no trying to squeeze him in there. And he's padded back, you know, nice little comfortable spot in there. So good. Really, really nice. I wonder where the yes button is. <laughs> the yes and the no button. We'll go through the torso there. Love all that sort of machinery. The pistons and all that looks really nice. Even the legs are solid. They don't feel, feel sort of flimsy and, and stuff on this one. Looks good. Hoses. The pipes sort of running around. It looks nice and clean. It's good. Shoes. Feet. Shoes. <laughs> yeah. IG12. And his shoes. Does have some peg holes. 2024 Hasbro. Just showing that they are new feet. They're not reusing old bits. But yeah, he looks great. Before we uh, go and put Grogu in there, we'll go through the articulation. So, so yeah, he's got some swivels in the head. So we got this. The top part there, with the middle part as well, and then the bottom part. So there's swivels there, three different swivels. Obviously, I did mention the sort of the fold down hinge there, and the little shoulder pads there. Uh, sorry, control levers. I was looking at the shoulders. You know, the swivel up and down, and we get a little ball and socket in there, so you can get that sort of arms out. Nice hinge hidden behind that sort of look-alike rubber, which is much better. Fantastic. Even in the hands. Little hinges in the hands as well. So those fingers can sort of pry, pry open and we can get it to focus. There we go. So that's, that's remarkable. So when they do do an IG-88 or new 11, you'll be able to hold his weapons well. Fantastic, same on that one. So you have that sort of swivel there at the torso. The hips are ball and socket. So you're sort of pivoting out, pivoting in. A good range of movement, up and down. Now there is a Swivel at the top of the thigh there, sort of in between the up behind the armor. We've got a good knee joint there. We have a swivel at the top of the foot. We have that sort of rocker joint there. You can sort of get a little bit of movement there. There's a little ball and socket in that foot. You can get a little bit of a range of pivots and movement and yeah, you'll be able to get this guy to stand up, no, no problems at all. So before we do the ultimate test with Grogu, getting him in there, I'm going to do the peg test. Castle Run action figure stands. Just want to make sure this one will slot in nicely. You know, it's a very, very tight fit. It's nice and snug. It's not going to tip over or anything on this thing. I did have him standing up pretty pretty well without him, without the stand before, so not totally necessary on this one, but yeah, that's a that's a nice sturdy sturdy spot there. That looks good. Alright, let's put Grogu in here. So I'm gonna get his arms. Sort of lift them up a little bit, get them in that sort of forward position. Tuck his little big ears in there. 
Oh yeah, they sort of once you sort of pop them in there, they sort of just sort of sit underneath the shoulders. So that works well. Just put his hands up on the. Uh... I'm gonna take a little bit of finicky sort of moving moving around, but we'll get there. There we go. All right, that's freaking awesome. I love that. This season three got a little bit of shtick, but I urge you watch it again. It's it's a damn fun season of Star Wars. <laughs> it wasn't all Jack Black and Lizzo people. <laughs> There's some really cool stuff. And IG-12 coming back, or IG-11 coming back as a mech suit for Grogu. Absolutely awesome. What's well, the Anzellans? Who doesn't love them? So there is IG-12. Let's do a little comparison side by side with the IG-11, who is also on a stand. So we're getting the height difference. And yeah, I almost want to go put this one in the bin now. <laughs> it's, yeah, there's, Hasbro's absolutely nailed it with this one. This one held held strong for, for quite a while, given that it was originally an IG-88 from well, 2014 now. 2013 or 14. So this is quite a, quite a dated old figure now, but you know what? Got a few bits and pieces here. And this figure, the new one, that could be per perfectly, you know, retooled to uh, do an IG-11, which would be just remarkable. Because, yeah, this one definitely has not held up the test of time. But, yeah, definitely just the height-wise, you know, I think, they've, I think they've absolutely nailed it this time. And the new IG... New IG-88 would look fantastic with the other Bounty Hunters, but time will tell. We'll see. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, folks. Thank you very much for checking this one out. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, see you again for some more reviews very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.